2010 technology versus 2013 technology. Uh, hold on, let me scratch that, it's too general. <clears throat> Xbox 360 versus Xbox One. Uh, you know how it went. But one thing still holds absolute value to this day, like this must-get accessory bundling each and every console sold. The Kinect for Xbox. So, let's see with the Kinect V1 and Kinect V2. Which one's better? As with this A and H, when everyone starts to stream the content live to YouTube, Twitch, and the like, um, having a webcam for streaming became an essential tool for newbies who are looking to enter the scene. And it just gets better if you have one of these lying around at your disposal. Hooking up the Kinect is simple for both, each requiring an adapter. <laughs> Don't go nowadays. One side connecting to a proprietary connector, like every brand's do, and the other to USB 2.0 for version 1 or 3.0 version 2. Enables so much potential out there to be experienced. For instance, it being a webcam. Yes! For the version 1, the camera has an astonishing resolution of 800 by 600 at 30 fps. Yes. However, it can output 720p as well, but with half the smoothness and 50 fps if you do the math. Whereas the version 2 can do 1080p video at 30 fps, a massive improvement from 4 years of innovation, being forced to the consumers to use the sensor and end up being a flop in its belly. Wow. But yeah, please avoid at all costs using the onboard microphone for these Kinect as they don't sound really good, provided the fact that you can't really toggle it on an um, OBS, which we'll probably discuss it later. And best of all, invest some cash onto a good headset with a microphone or an actual good USB microphone like this one. Even if it's even better if you have an XLR interface with a good digital audio interface. Yeah. Anyways, with that being said, all of them have infrared beams shooting across like a LiDAR sensor on your new iPhone or iPad Pro series. It's just better. Enabling seamless body tracking experience, at least for the version 2 being more smoother because of the better sensor. And that calls for an OBS plugin that deals with this. So yeah, I'll put the link down in the description if you guys are interested in trying to install this and you know, make this. Also, while you're down there, you know, don't forget to follow me on social medias. Get the latest updates of my uploads and project like this all around. Anyways, let's get this plugin working. You know, just install the drivers for the respective connects. Get the OPS plugin, install them, plug it in, plug the connect in, set up a scene, add the connect source, and you're good to go. A detailed instruction will also be down in the description as well because many people do that. And back to the infrared lidar business thing, this allows for the Fox green screen effect aka green screen on a budget and obviously on a version 2 it deals with the processing much better than a version 1 but that doesn't mean that it's really that bad like at all each of them does it smoothly but when it comes to the edge detection and the removal the version 2 does do a better job here thanks to the 2.1 megapixel camera compared to like you know that other counterparts and a clear difference finally spoken and to add to that as well, logging to your PC hasn't been any easier than just, you know, typing your password here and there every day, every month, every year. You know, I'm being sarcastic, yeah? I don't know about you, but I'm all for the non typing, you know, or the simpler way of signing in, and biometric has come a very long way. As in addition to my other fingerprint sensor, which I have, the Kinect V2 has a significant edge over the version 1 with the ability to use it as a facial recognition camera. So just step in near the sensor and it will automatically unlock, just like Face ID for the iPhone and iPads. You know, works like magic, fast, quick, and setting it up in just almost no time. Just make sure it be at arm's length though. I'll be at around 50 centimeters. It works best. But if it's too close, too far, then eh, not so well. So, using the Kinect how supposed to be with an Xbox respectively or just other users for like VR body tracking and things like that, this technology has 
potential in its way, definitely. Certainly, but not 100% for gaming though, as the truth stands for the launch of the Kinect years ago, but nowadays people are definitely taking advantage of these hardware or the camera sensors for many industry works like 3D object scanning, depth mapping, modeling, character recognition, scanning and more. As proven with the users, this is geared towards experienced users, mainly for business or enterprise sectors. For example, the Azure Connect, aka the Connect V3, released in 2019, as far as I know, is the only camera being selling to business enterprise customers only and nothing short of it. The design looks much more sleek and modern compared to both of my connects. It's really small. And the tech spec wise, this is out of the water and probably with a higher resolution camera and more dense infrared projection for pinpoint accuracy being a direct competitor to the Intel's RealSense offering cameras. So yeah, in conclusion, to answer the question of which connect is better, of course, the Kinect V2 is much better than its predecessor, but should you pick one up though? Um, in my opinion, if you're an experienced Windows user, or notice I did not mention macOS or Linux as I'm not really sure about the driver support, and having around like a hundred Australian dollars or 72-ish US dollar for this, both the sensor and the adapter if you have known either one of them Moretti, which is hard price, the adapter only and vice versa, then yeah, grab, go ahead, grab one, start your live streaming career, or just jump into an Xbox One game, but it does not support series though, so, you know, and other users that you may like to your heart's content. And you know what? That should be it for now. Let me know down in the comments below if you own one of these, and you know, feel free to share your thoughts there. Oh, and don't forget to, you know, while you're down there, hit the red subscribe button, yeah, for more videos like this. Like, wow, look at that, isn't that amazing? And catch that ding dong bell for the latest uploads, uh, hit that like for the algorithm to be pleased, follow me, socials down in the description, share this to your friends, closest ones, I don't know if they want to get their hands on this amazing piece of art. <laughs> this one. And I'll catch y'all, y'all, in the next one. Jenna, bye.